Okay, we're going to start today with some barbecued short ribs. It's a specialty of Chef Joe's. What we do is take a piece of meat, short rib without the bone, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to sear it in uh, olive oil, a little bit of butter, and my mother's 34 year old Dutch oven. Okay, so the reason why we're searing is because we want to lock all the juices in, right? So we're just going to brown them on all four sides. And that's the purpose of what we're doing now. Okay. Okay, so once we're done browning the meat, we're going to be using, uh, we're going to saute onions and celery with a little bit of, come over here, a little bit of this beef uh, bouillon. Yeah, nice and brown, we're just getting this stuff the way you want it. Well, nice and crispy. You're not going to cook them all the way through. Again, yeah, you're just searing them. All right, so we removed all the meat, and now and we drained all the oil and the grease out of the pan. And if you take a shot inside here, you'll see what we're looking at. It's really got this brown bits called fond. All right, turn the heat up on high, and it's going to start. Just when it gets to the point of smoking, we're going to add the beef bouillon. We're going to make a nice brown you see it start to raising smoke. liquid. We're going to add the bouillon yet, a little bit at a time, and stand back because it's going to. As you do that, you want to stir and you want to basically break up all those little brown bits. You're going to have a nice brown gravy. You just keep stirring it until you don't feel any more friction at the bottom of the pan from the brown bits. You see that the uh, all out. broth is now starting to come to a boil. We're going to add the onions. And it's about one whole onion diced up. We're going to add celery. Also diced up. We're going to let that saute until they get soft. Okay, so I put a plate on just to bring it to boil quicker, but you can see how the mixture is starting to boil real nice. Now we're going to add... We'll let this boil again, as I said. We're going to let it reduce a little bit because we are going to add some more liquid. So what I'm going to add now is I'm going to add some red roasted tomatoes. You can get these in the store, or you can roast the tomatoes yourself, but inside the hidden there. And we're going to add that to the mixture and let that get all nice and... We brought the uh, broth to a boil, and then we added the celery and the onions, and we just got done adding um, the roasted tomatoes. And now we're going to add just a, for a little more flavor, about oh, tape, a couple of teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and we're going to add vinegar. Just regular red wine vinegar. Why do we add vinegar to this mixture? And that's because what vinegar does, it helps break down the connective tissue in the meat. Okay, that's like all of the fat and grizzle, if there is any, that's running through the meat itself. This will break that all down. Then we're going to add a half a cup, a little less than a half a cup of ketchup. Put on the ketchup is because it's really called me. It's a mock barbecue spare rib dish. Okay, so that's going to make kind of a barbecue sauce, if you will. Then we're going to add just a quarter cup of red wine. This is the Italian barbecue version. And then, last but not least, we're going to add a tablespoon of brown sugar. Make it hefty. You want this? Make sure that you um, really do a good job of stirring this mixture up because you want everybody to touch everybody else, okay? And then last but not least, we're going to add three bay leaves. And including the bay leaves, we'll do some seasoning of salt and pepper. We'll add, I recommend kosher salt, but we have sea salt here that we're using. And we're using about that much, which is a little bit over a teaspoon. And pepper the same thing. But you'll add spice later on once you taste it halfway through. Okay, so now we're going to add our beef rib back in. We're going to lay them in here. Now what you don't want to do is submerge them. You just want to bring them up a little, maybe about halfway because you don't want to stew with them. You're braising them. That's what this process is called, braising. And when we're done braising this for two and a half hours or so, and we throw the rest of the juice in there, they're going to be fall off the bone. And what I usually like to do is just turn them over and get them all nice and covered. Okay, so you turn the heat off now on the stove. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cover them, put them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees, and we're going to cook these guys for about two and a half hours. I'll tell you even later on how you know when they're completely done. Okay, can you? Oh. 
fuck about it. I like to eat, and no matter what it is, I like to eat.